Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Nur Nadira bin Hujur Marasi and we are very lucky to meet again for a second time. In this video, we are going to present to you about the binding agent. And now, I am going to briefly introduce what is exactly the binding agent. In general, binding agents are the UV ingredient that is necessary for a mixture in holding its shape or remain bound together. There are many kinds of binding agents and the common one is the egg. As we all know, eggs can act as a binding agent where the protein molecules in the eggs can hold other ingredients together. It can commonly be seen in dishes such as omelets. There are also other types of binding agents such as lantern gum, guar gum and many more that will be explained by my other group members and I think that's all for me, thank you. Uh, Shami, yeah, but, so uh, I want to know about uh, some of the information of binding agents. So can you tell me about uh, the function of binding agents? Oh, so Pan, you want to know about the function of the yeah, yeah. binding agent? Yes. Okay, Pan. As we know, uh, the definition of the binding agent is that okay. binding agent is any ingredient that has a richer, mm -hmm. uh, have a richer hold in shape mm -hmm. or remain bound together. So from the definition of the binding agent itself, mm -hmm. we know the function of the binding agent. Do you uh, understand it? Yes, yes, I yes, understand. Okay, I give you an example of, uh, for the function of the binding agent. For example, if our mother wants to make a cake, mm -hmm. uh, she used uh, an egg mm -hmm. to to help a mixture of the cake, for example, flour, mm -hmm. uh, margarine, seasoning, Bound together. Oh, right. uh, so from that we know the function of the binding agent. Yeah. Uh, so can you give can from from your understanding yeah. from your understanding can you give any example of the uh, function of the binding agent? Okay. Uh, so based based on uh, what information that you have given to me, so uh, I can see that uh, maybe the uh, some of the function of binding agent that you can see is uh, in the making of uh, burgers. Oh, burger or meat burger? Ah, oh, meat burger. Meat burger. Yeah. Okay, so uh, if we want to uh, make a burger, so we must have a binding agent so that uh, the binding agent can hold the substances or the uh, mixture of a burger to bind it together. So it can make a good texture and also a good appearance when we cook the meat of uh, the, the, the burger. Meat. So if we, we don't uh, we don't add any mm -hmm. any agent in the meat burger, so, so the, the shape of the meat burger cannot be made. Yes, yes. That is a function of any agent. Yeah. Okay, fine. So I want to ask you about the E number. What do you understand about it? Okay. So uh what we can uh know about E number that uh, E number is a piece of code that uh usually used for the food editing. And some uh some of it uh maybe uh come uh, for the uh, coloring agent, uh, thickening agent, and also the binding agent. So uh, from the E number, uh, we can know what are the substances of the foods. Uh, maybe the coloring agent and also the binding agent, or uh, any other any other of them. Oh. So uh, that's all that I can. So what is the uh, E number for the binding? Agent? So uh, there's a, there's a uh, lot of number uh, number of for the binding agent, but uh, I just I, I don't I don't know about the binding agent of uh, in, uh, in number in number of for binding agent. So uh, we we must know that uh, some of the in number are used uh, are used used for also for the binding agent. Oh, it's okay. Uh, that's all. Yeah, I can. Thank you for your okay. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Ibtisan Kehazani and now we proceed to the classification or types of the binding agents. First of all, eggs. Eggs is one of the most recognizable of binding agents. This is for sure an ingredient that you already know of. In many pet foods, eggs can help glue your ingredients together or act as a deepening agent. So, eggs are often a great binding agent in light and fluffy cakes. So, the second point is flour. Flour is another commonly used in the food binders. 
flour and volume, texture and taste of the food products. You can use flour as a bundle to make both savoury and sweet dishes. You can bake, fry, boil or steam your flour to produce different food textures. So next is tapioca flour. Tapioca flour is another food binding used in many desserts because it thickens at a lower temperature and remains stable when frozen. Use finely ground tapioca flour as a food binder to make pie fillings. Further, you can use tapioca flour as a binding agent to thicken soups, stews and sauces. And last but not least is potato starch. Potato starch is a fine starch that has minimal nutritional value and contains very small amount of proteins and fats. Potato starch makes an ideal food binder because it has a neutral taste, clear color, adds volume and has strong binding quality. So many many manufacturers in this world commonly use potato starch as a food binder in potato chips, hot dogs, pastry, bread, instant soup, and prepackaged breaded cheese. Thank you, that's all for me. My name is Nusha Pira Binti Maslan. Now we proceed to the application of the binding agent. Binding agents are also developed in the culinary uses. There are two principal culinary types of binding agent that we can use in the food industry nowadays. Um, firstly, is a fat. Um, example of fat is a egg, heavy cream, and even dry milk powder. We also can use egg yolk or egg white to help with action and also provide texture. As you know, the function of the binding agent is to hold the food uh, texture in its shape. Other than that, in the food industry also, we use the panadas, which is made from starchy item uh, that technically something uh, other than fat that we use to uh, add it into the food made as a binder. In practice, panadas are often uh, made from the bread, bread crumbs, uh, flour, cream and others. That's all. My name is Melania Pia Rasmata Bidazari. As a conclusion, binding engine was very useful in human life, especially in the food industry. It may improve the suspension of other ingredients or emulsion, which increase stability of the products. Binding engines are often recommended as food additive, cosmetics, and personal hygiene products ingredients. Some binding agents are jelly agents, which known as balance, forming agents, dissolving in the liquid phase as a colloid mixture that forms a weakly condensate internal structure. The binding effects are mainly provided by carboxymetic metal solutes, metal solutes, or hydroxyphobic metal solutes, guava, locus mica, and arabica. The use of jelly agents include modified starch, agar, carrageenan, pectin, yerica, Zenzengang, Arginian, and so on. The role of binding agent in food formulation and product development has been discussed along with examples and method of parameterization to indicate the increased use of binding agent as an important food activity.